demonstrate to you our KDB flash persistence as well as a working max memory policy in action. So as you can see here, we have our SSD volume mounted. And for the sake of this demo, we will make a directory for the database on it. Now let's get started by installing KDB. So if you go to docs.kdb.dev, you'll see uh, several different installation methods that you can use to install. For this demo, we're gonna be installing one of our dev packages through our PPA repository. So first, let's start by adding the repository. And then we can update and install KDB. Now we're installing KDB Pro here. If you have one of our community editions installed, the KDB Pro binary is included with them as well. Uh, so you can give it a try. Uh, now that we're uh, set up, uh, it does come with uh, systemd files installed. So for now, we're just going to stop the, the service file. And we're gonna go over afterwards what's needed to run uh, the KDB Flash feature specifically. Uh, with your systemd files, so it's, it's a little bit more involved. Uh, for now, let's start off this demo by running our KDB Pro Server binary. We'll specify four server threads, and we're gonna we're gonna specify a flash storage provider uh, to the directory we just made. Uh, for this demo, we're gonna set a max memory policy of 500 megabytes, and we're gonna disable RDB safe. As you can see. It uh, starts out with a two hour demo, which is included with all of our uh, pro binaries. And if you need a longer development key, you can reach out to us for one. Uh, as you can see here, our, uh, we're running an empty database. So we will start by filling it. So here we're gonna run, use KDB benchmark to fill it. Uh, we're gonna run 1 million set commands. Uh, with random in a randomized pattern uh, to get very close to that 1 million uh, keys. They all have a database, uh, a data size of 1024 bytes, and we're going to use four threads uh, to fill it. Uh, as you can see, when we started filling the database, uh, our memory filled up up to the 500 megabyte max memory uh, value we had set in. So once it reached that 500 megs, all of the data afterwards ends up getting written into Flash. So right now, everything that's being written is being written onto the Flash medium, up to our million keys. And uh, as mentioned before, we do have RPM packages and uh, and uh, Docker files available. Uh, you, you can go to our website to get more information. If you haven't uh, set a max memory policy or uh, the max memory value, uh, it defaults to automatically to half the available RAM and to a least recently used policy. All righty, so we're just about filled up here. All right, so we filled up the database. As you can see, the values, uh, uh, we've got almost a million keys in the database. So now if I kill the KDB server and start it back up, what you're gonna see is that all of our keys are still there, even though uh, the, the, the keys kept in, in the hot uh, memory have been removed. So everything is still there, even without an RDB file. So that being said, uh, I'm just gonna review quickly how to set up the systemd server file. So we'll start out by uh, looking at the, the service file itself. And as you can see here, um, we are running a user and group of KDB. So in order to be able to access the data from the directory uh, we just made, we need to update it here in our SSD file. And now we can also uh, update uh, the flash configuration parameter in our uh, default config file.
So all KDB specific features are located at the bottom of the kdb.conf config file. So here we'll just specify our directory. And the last thing that we have to do is to change the ownership for the directory we made uh, to the KDB user and group. All right, now that that's done, we should be able to run uh, as a service. And there are uh, a lot of instructions available on our uh, docs. So feel free to take a look if you have any, any further questions. And as you can see, we're up and running uh, with KDB Flash enabled for systemd files. So if you want to uh, keep up to date with KDB or, or follow us, uh, feel free to subscribe uh, on our website. And uh, thanks, thanks for joining us here today.